Hey, this is Jason from JSM Computer Solutions. Uh, today we're going to go ahead and t take apart a Dell Latitude D420. Uh, basically, uh, I've taken out all the screws out already. Um, there's no hard drive in this machine. And um, what the only tool you're really going to need uh, is one of these. Um, one that actually has both sides, where it's got the flathead and then the uh, Phillips on the other side. So I have a uh, D420 right here, as you can see, and uh, it boots the BIOS. So we have no problems with the machine itself, so what we're going to do is we're going to start taking it apart. So let's go ahead and power it down. Uh, and first what we're going to do is we're going to start, and if you look right here in the, in the corner, I don't know if you can see that or not, but there's a little spot where you can flip that up with a flathead. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the flathead, put it right there in the front, and then this should pop right out because it just snaps right in. So we have that piece and that's just your power button board plastic. Uh, the keyboard itself uh, has three screws. There's one here, here, and there. Um, we'll take those three out. And then we'll have the keyboard off. It just pops right out. And then, if you can see it, when you pull it out, it's got two cables at the bottom there. And if you just flip up these plastic pieces right here, I can flip it up. They should just pull right out. Once you flip them up, push them right out, the keyboard comes right out. Uh, so now, what we got is a bunch of spots that say P, um, and that's to hold the palm rest in. So we're going to go ahead and take those screws out. Right, I think that's all of them. Oh, one right here. That back corner. All right, and then we have uh, one right here that holds this plastic in, which is for the um, wireless antenna. Uh, so we're gonna take that that plastic piece off and then that tape that holds the Wi-Fi uh, wi antenna in. And as you can see, it's just a small little piece that's got a screw in it. And then that will pull out this piece here that actually um, has a cable plugged into it. And then it's got this piece right here. All right. So then next, uh, what we're going to do is we have the tape here that holds these wires in. We're going to pop that off. We can take that with a, with a Phillips head and pull those right off. I'm sorry, with a flat head, not a Phillips head. And pull that off. All right, that's good enough. So then what we're going to do next is we're actually going to flip it around. And at the bottom here, I left this on here, but this is the hard drive spot here, spot here, so this actually just pulls right off like that. Uh, down at the bottom, we have right here where the memory card is. It's actually going to be where my wife, uh, where the Wi-Fi wires are going to go to. So I unscrewed all of them, but this one here. 
so it pops right off. Underneath we got the memory. Take that right out. And then we have the Wi-Fi wires here. And they just pull right through. And then those ones here pull right through. And then there should be an extra gray one right there. So when we go to the other side, they should just pull right out. This is where you're going to need your Phillips head too. Um, so you can see we can just pull them right out. Just take the Phillips head very carefully so you don't damage the motherboard. But they should just pull right out. And then this one here should pull out too. But don't have any problems. And then you have... They put this on there this time. Basically, what you're going to do once you pull that out, you can pull the video card cable out. And I guess I'll pull the rest of it out there. So now, now you got the wires out. There's two screws that hold the LCD in in the back. One there, and one right there. So we're going to take those out. Alright. And now this should just pop right out. Your LCD. We're gonna put that off to the side. We're gonna take that apart a little bit later here. Uh, so now, all we got left is the palm rest, and the palm rest um, should just pop right out. Uh, let's make sure that we take the the cable out. There's a cable right here that has another little plastic piece that flips up, and then um, we should be able to just pop this out. If I've taken all the screws out. just comes right off. Oh, and there's also this little speaker. There's a speaker cable right there. Uh, just be very careful that you don't rip that out. And there's your palm rest. So you got that right there. And we'll put this down on the floor. And here's your motherboard. As you can see. Um, so we go back to the LCD. Uh, LCD is usually pretty easily. I've had a little problem with these Dell uh, 420s trying to get the bezel off because they're very uh, not cooperating. So basically you just kind of stick your fingers up underneath the plastic and just try to pull it off. And it's, it just should pop right off. Just like that. So what we're going to do, since we're having a problem with this, we're going to take a flathead and you actually should be able to push right at the top. bezel off. We're going to go ahead and take apart the rest of the um, the LCD. So basically we have um, two screws 
uh, one here and one here, and the LCD should just come right off. So we take the screw out here. The screw out over here. And then basically it should just pop right out. So if we flip it easily this way, it comes right out. Not too easily. There we go. And then uh, you've got your back case here that has your wires for your Wi Fi. And then you have your LCD. So if you flip the LCD over, there's a cable right here that, that goes on to the LCD inverter, which is your graphics cable. It pops off there. And then you have this right here, um, which plugs into the board. Um, I try not to use a screwdriver for this, but they have like a little bit of tape right here that pops right off. So that way you can get the actual uh, graphics cable off. Uh, and one more last thing is that you'll have your LCD inverter. So you, what you're going to need is a smaller screw for this one, uh, Phillips head, and there's a tiny little screw right here that comes out. And they do glue these, um, so this one here you kind of have to bend it forward a little bit while pulling up. So there's get this one out. I don't know why they do this this way. But it's glued on a little bit, so once you get it past this point here, it just kind of slides right off. But it does have some glue. It is aluminum, so you can just kind of slide it back. And then there's this one little cable right here. And then you have your LCD inverter. And then just your LCD. Um, there are some brackets here you can take off if you want to. Um, but they just hold it into place. Alright, uh, that was a decommission or un, uh, uninstall of uh, a D420 uh, Dell. And uh, if you have any questions or comments or whatever, feel free to send us an email from our website, uh, www.jsmcomputersolutions.com. Um, and um, we can help you out on anything you need. Thank you.